so what, what uh, we, we, we have chosen to actually go out and do something about it. We have uh, chosen to understand that we have skills, uh, we have networks, we have influence, we have capital, we have companies, and we need to go out to, to these communities that are graduating all these kids and, and act on them. It's very simple. I mean, look, entrepreneurs at the end of the day are solution providers. Our brain thinks different than, than I don't want to be over critical of government. We are, we are innovators. We think solutions. So when we go, uh, when we look at a problem that says there's a problem with education, our brain automatically kicks in that says, how do I solve the problem of education? Because uh, uh, th that's, that's how we, we measure our performance. It's, it's, it's in how we come out with these problems. So I, I tell my friends, I tell the business community, wherever I go, I tell people like you, you know, you need to bring all your skills, all your capabilities. You need to wake up government to these issues because sometimes, because government is overwhelmed, maybe it has too much responsibility. You need to tell them and tell them I'm willing to partner, as, as Aaron would say in his, in his uh, opening letter. He says, it is the time for public-private partnerships. But public-private partnerships means not only the public sector allowing the private sector to step in, but it is also for the private sector to think it has responsibility at the same time. So we cannot complain that we're not part of the process because somebody has shut the door. We have to actually open the door ourselves if it is, not, if it is shut because it is about our future. Again, so we chose, because of the issues I mentioned to you before, we chose that we want to focus as a company on education and we want to uh, uh, focus on how we attract businesses who are like-minded into the education world. We want to focus about on entrepreneurship and we want to focus about uh, on the environment because we are environmentally polluters as, as a logistics company. Uh, so we created this organization called RUWAD. RUWAD means entrepreneurs and it means entrepreneurs that are part and parcel of the developmental uh, process in the countries that we operate in. Uh, we, we basically go into marginalized communities, incubate them. Some people would say you are going to be, you're doing a community adoption. I say we don't do community adoption, even though it looks like that. But we are incubating the community, meaning we will have their youth and empower their, or their, their, their system so that they don't need us anymore. Because that's, that's my success. My measure of success is when somebody tells me, thank you very much what you've done. I'm on my feet. I am off, I am gone, I can, I can also take my turn in doing what I need to do. So we provide scholarships, we provide internships, we network with companies that open up their doors for internships, we teach these kids, we give hundreds of, uh, of scholarships, we give these kids uh, 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 financial literacy, uh, tell them how to interview, tell them how to write CVs, we build uh, clinics, we build libraries, we build, we fix schools that are not fixed in these communities, and we say it is our responsibility also. We were criticized early on saying this is a government job. We say if the government is not doing it, what are you going to tell the kids in class who are freezing to death in that class? That the government cannot do it for you? So, uh, and then we've chosen to be part of, of, uh, of sports. So we do a lot of uh, amateur sports with our kids. Empowers them a lot and, and, and changes the, their attitude towards teamwork and, and towards community work. And finally, all these kids that get scholarships from us into colleges, have to pay us back in four hours of volunteer work every week. So it is not ever about giving, it is about giving and taking. So nobody feels you're, you're giving, you're, you're, it's charity. It's never about charity. It is about a strategic partnership. They give you four hours of volunteer work inside the community and they make a difference in their community. So what does a courier company, a, a package delivery company, a logistics company have to do with that? A lot, because we recruit these people at the end of the day. And an affluent community that is off the street is a client, is an affluent community, is somebody that is happy. It means your society is in a better shape. It means your company will automatically become in a, 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 in a better shape. And at the same time, we publish, uh, uh, obviously, a sustainability report that gives uh, uh, exact indicators. We'll discuss that maybe in the question and answer period because I am close to finishing my time. Last but not least, I read a recent uh, up at you, some of you probably read it by uh, uh, Joseph Stieglitz, who is uh, a Nobel laureate from, uh, from here in the US. Uh, he says, recent methodol methodological advances have enabled us to assess better what contributes to citizens' sense of well-being. 
These studies, for instance, verify and quantify why should, why, what should be obvious. The loss of a job has a greater impact than can be accounted for just by loss of income. They also demonstrate the importance of social connectedness. Statistical frameworks cannot be shrunk down all the way to a single number in GDP. So my point that I will leave with you, isn't it time that businesses don't take profitability, financial returns as their only, as their only way of measurement of success? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Financial returns are very important because you need to be able to pay your salaries at the end of the day. But social returns and your impact on the community and how you can put those externalizations into your balance sheet is essential. We don't know how to do it yet. Maybe some people are working on it. I've heard some professors are thinking about it. But externalities matter. The fact that they're not on our P and L and balance sheets, it doesn't mean there is no cost to them. It doesn't mean we should not, not be measured by how we do these things. So uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is uh, how we think. This is how uh, 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 we conduct ourselves. And I think this, uh, this is, affects our reputation. It affects your reputation. And, and uh, uh, because it, there's nothing more important than reputation. And there's nothing more important than uh, a reputation for sustainability at the end of the day. Thank you.